Hi, third grade friends. Today is day number two of our three-dimensional beaver. Last time I saw you, you worked on your background. I plan on adding other details to mine, but I'm going to wait until the end to figure out exactly where I want to put my leaves. So I have my water and I have some grass. And your grass could have been, uh, you could have zero grass, you could have all grass, you could have um, all water. It's really up to you. Okay, so that being said, I am going to go ahead and put that aside for now. You are going to need two pieces of paper. Remember, they could be lined white paper or construction paper. Um, the first thing that you are going to do today is you're going to fold your paper in half like a book. You're going to get your scissors, and you are going to go ahead and cut on the line. All right. Uh, what we're going to do first is we are going to make the shape of our beaver face, and then we're going to make the beaver's um, ha uh, tail. Sorry. Okay, so get a pencil. I'm using marker so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to use a pencil. I'm starting at the top of my paper. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. All right, at the top of my paper, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a curve line, and I'm going to, so it kind of looks like a rainbow. I'm going to narrow it down. Come down and stop. Come down and stop. This is going to be your beaver tail. All right, we're going to make some textured lines for the beaver's tail by making these diagonal lines with a pencil. So it kind of looks like uh, the texture lines of a waffle cone. Okay, this is going to be the tail. What you're going to do with the tail is you're going to outline with black marker crayon, color pencil, pen, and then you're going to color in the tail brown. Okay? Put your tail aside. All right, let's go ahead and work on the head. So we're going to go ahead and at the top of our page, we're going to do another curve line. And this is going to be the top of his head. Curve. Curve. All right, and then we're going to come down and close it in. So he's going to kind of look like a bear. And we're going to make these cute little eyes. And if you don't want your eyes to be closed like this, you can do your emoji eyes. You do eyes open. Whatever you think looks nice. That's the great thing about being an artist. I want you to think of your own ideas, okay? Okay, we're going to leave his mouth B because later on we're going to make that look 3D. All right, while we have this extra paper at the bottom, let's go ahead and make his feet. And it's however you can fit uh, this space in. I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, three, and around. One, two, three, and around. All right. So I have those, same thing, um, you're going to trace these with black marker, crayon, colored pencil, pen, and then you're going to color these in brown also. You can have fun, and you could do a two-tone, dark brown and light brown if you wanted. All right, so those are those, or that's that. All right, and then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to get your second piece of paper, fold it in half like a book, open it up. Use your scissors, and this piece later on is going to be your log. So for your log, you're going to use your pencil, and you're going to have fun making texture lines to make the wood look more realistic. So to do that, all I'm doing is spiral around, and you can do as many as you want. All right, you're going to go over these with either a dark brown crayon, a black marker, black crayon, black pen, and you'll color this in brown. Okay? I guess what a, the 3D part will wait until next time because this is a lot of work for you guys for day two. So you're going to color these all in after you draw, draw them, and then uh, day number three will worry about the 3D part. All right, bye friends. Keep up the good work.